Good evening YouTube, Ian here from Cool Ice Charge Case and Power Supplies. Uh, thank you for tuning in and watching another one of my videos of charge cases. This uh, video tonight is a quick video of a little, uh, little charge case basically. It's something you can just pick up and take flying with you. A little bit different this one. There is no power supply in this one. So this one is relying on either an external DC power supply or, as the customer is planning on using with this one, a, up to a 6S LiPo. The charger that is in here is one of the ISDT Q6 Plus, so it's the 300 watt 14 amp power supplies off the top of me, uh, power supplies, chargers off the top of my head. Uh, quite a nice little capable unit, which is quite nice. It's compact, it's small, it's powerful, it's keenly priced as well. And the guy himself, he wanted a little case that he could stuff in his rucksack, carry with him, take a, a 6S pack from one of his larger helicopters with him, and obviously then use that to power the charger, which in turn then would charge his little battery packs. So this was a case he had, a Pelly 1120, and he said to me, Ian, I need a small case that I can just throw in my bag, I want to put this charger in it, can you make it happen? So being myself yes we can we can pretty much do almost anything you want and obviously I prefer the challenge so to start with I created because I thought the art the whole idea of this case is to keep it very very cost effective that's the whole basis of this case if you like saying this quick easy to build and obviously cheap to build in fact really realistically the most expensive components by comparison are the case and the charger itself but anyway so to start with, and I'll bring that into shot if I can, let me slide the case back. I designed and then printed a completely 3D printer deck and charger cradle. Which is two separate units. You can see, obviously there's four screws holding the cradle in place. So this was the first one. This was the first one I did, and this works really well, admittedly. This is probably going to... I might alternate, to be honest here. I need to work out the price on this. I've, I've already worked out a good price. But then I've also now transferred it to my usual 10 millimeter thick polypropylene. So, again, same quality deck as my usual cases now. With the M5 inserts to obviously hold... The XT60 connectors in there actually. I've created XT60 holders. If I put that down for a minute, I'll see if I can grab one. I've got a few printed and it'll make a bit more sense when you see it in the case. But there we go. The whole idea of this is basically that will push, whoop, dropped it. That will slide into, it's a little bit of a nice, it's a little bit of a tight fit because it's a nice good slide fit. That will obviously push into the case or into the back of the deck, should I say, and create the hold holes it'll go flush I'm not going to push it all the way in because then I have to push it out and then the XT60 goes in there when I open the case in fact it'll make a little bit more sense so that's one part but anyway back to the 3d printed deck I've got another one I did a slight different one where I obviously I haven't really changed much about it if I'm honest the only thing I did do I'll sit down so I can do it I just rounded off a few of the corners for the vents and what have you just to make it look a little bit different but I can this one's loose so I can show you that's basically the cradle for the charger so that's the set that's the secondary part to the deck so the deck is all 3d printed so it accepts the charger I can't show you the charger going in because it's currently in the case I need to uh, admittedly I've got the design for the cradle to suit the polypropylene deck but I'm yet to print that and I'm, it's coming up for 10 to 9 in the UK here at night so I'm not going to attempt printing it tonight I'll save that for the morning but anyway I thought you might like to see the 3d printed deck that really works well the drawback is of course while it's cheap to produce it obviously takes some time on the printer so that's not too much of an issue but you want to obviously leave it going so I looked at other options and then transferred the design of this onto the polypropylene and of course that works quite a bit quicker by comparison but anyway so there's the cradle and I've got another one coming like that then to suit the polypropylene deck so I'll put that aside but then this one which is obviously assembled and again you can see then it's got the cutouts 
for the XT60 actually molded into the 3D print. So that works out quite good. And of course then the two halves then join together. And then it's got the cutouts on the side then to allow connection to the balance port, the power in the, and the power out. And then of course then the little balance board as well. That's created in there. On the polypropylene, it's recessed to fit. But the idea is the same. And then there's just a very simple plate which bolts and clamps it in place. And again, that plate as well is common to this design. So it just literally clamps the board in place. So that's quite good, it's quite neat. So anyway, without further ado, obviously you can see I've actually got a few decks there. So I've got three to make up of these already. I've got chargers coming from China. Let's open this case up and then you can see it. Now if the charger's fallen through, I do apologize because it's only been held in by friction at the moment, so it's working quite well, but there we go. So as you can see, ISDT Q6 Plus, XT60 power input, top left hand corner. I might perhaps make a little legend here for that. I might put input, I've got either the vinyl cutter for example would look quite good, but then you can also see the little 3D printed XT60 holder just it, it's created so it's flush it's it's recess is 10 mil if I try and pull that one out you can see that's what's poking through there so that looks quite neat panning across then there's the balance board you can see where it's obviously fitted in the deck and obviously it's held in place so it's not going anywhere and again another one of the XC60s so this will be the output one going to the the battery that's being charged at the time so looks quite neat tidy obviously they in time I will obviously create designs for these with four mil bullets <coughs> connectors but because of the designs I've done for other cases I can obviously change these potentially I think I think the case is deep enough to accept them I can obviously change these holders for EC5s Supra X because I've got all these 3D printed uh, designs for those that I would just obviously need to adapt them a little bit so they're not quite so wide then to fit in the space available but that's the that's the whole idea of this I can obviously modify the design of this to suit the various connector coming in and out <coughs> to suit the customer so that's quite good now the eagle-eyed among you obviously with the cradle there was a little bit of method in my madness there in that this case obviously doesn't have a cooling fan. There isn't much space to put one in. I could put a little 30 or 40 millimeter fan in there, but it just adds complexity, which isn't needed. So part of the criteria with my cradle design was to basically create a cooling duct. So as you can see, it's sloped, it's angled. So when the charger is in there, its internal fan is creating its own power, uh, creating its own airflow supply, if you like, which is what it would do anyway if it's open. But of course, if it's in a case with no holes, it's just going to be blowing cool air around, it, or warmed air, should I say, around inside the case, which isn't good. So we've got air inlet at the front, which the charger then sucks in air through the front, goes through the charger, and then literally curls up and out the back slot. Perfect. Nice and simple, nice and tidy, no additional fans nice so that's going to work really well i'm quite pleased with that it was one of the main criteria for me with that charger to obviously maintain the airflow on it because again with you know 300 watts of power there it's certainly got a reasonable amount of power to play with in, in a small footprint so it needs to keep cool as you can see it's nice and tidy <coughs> looks good I haven't weighed, oh, that's not going to work. I haven't weighed it, so I can't tell you the weight, unfortunately, but it's obviously very light, very portable. I'm not going to shake it too much, because again, I've not got the cradle printed for this one yet to keep that charger in place. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. I'm pleased with the design, it's working quite good. I've got options there. I can obviously provide the 3D printed decks with a, with a charge cradle or the CNC routed decks, again, with a charge cradle once I've printed it. But so very, very good. So that's our new one. If you're in need of a, a small case to carry around with you very quickly and charge those small aircraft with, give me a shout. www.coolice.co.uk Thank you for watching. Oh, one last thing. The next case I'm designing is going to have, again, something a bit different on it. 
I'll grab it with my hand and let's bring it into shot. Wireless charging. That's it. That's right, you heard it. Cool Ice Charge Case and Power Splice is going to incorporate a wireless charger in his next case. I'd wanted to do it. I'd seen these boards. The customer asked for it. Can I do it? I said to him, have we met? I can do almost anything. I'm, I'm up for the challenge. So I am going to fit that into the next charge case, which I did mention what case that was going to be. I think in one of my previous videos, that's the Nanook 940, the silver one, which I showed you. So look out for that video, because as that starts to develop, I will start showing you some teaser photos and some teaser videos as well. But thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.